Google's Notebook LM is amazing. In fact, it may replace your local SEO. Watch this. This video is dedicated to Darren Marion. I love you, brother. All right, guys, I hope everybody's doing great. I'm really excited about this lesson because it, it's actionable. It's something that you could use. And for right now, Notebook LM is free, right? So it's a free product right now as of February 19th, 2025. Free, free, free. So let's get right into it. So if you go to notebooklm.google, that's all you have to do is just go to notebooklm.google or you could just go to Google and type in notebook LM. So the first page you'll see is this page right here. You click try notebook LM and you just click that and you will see this page that says welcome. The next thing that you'll see is this button right here that says create new. So very simple, just create, just uh, click this button that says create new, you'll come to this page, and this is where you're going to upload your sources. So this is where I'm going to show you how to put everything together for Notebook LM to examine your website and what you need to rank in Google Maps. Guys, if this video helps you, please like and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So step one is you just type in the keyword that you're trying to rank in Google Maps for. Just to make sure we're all on the same page, Google Maps is this section right here. All right, so step two is I'm going to find my website. So I'm gonna to have to scroll down. I'm just gonna pick, I'm just gonna pick any one. I'll scroll down, try to make it tough, right? It's on the first page, but it's probably about 15th place. And I'm just going to click Miller Electric. And when I click Miller Electric, I just want to click the website and take the website. All right, so I have the website copied and I'm just going to click over here. See where it says add source in the left hand corner here? I'm just going to click add source. I'm going to scroll down. You see where it says website? I'm going to take the website. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to paste the website in and click insert. Now, what I want to do is I want to give notebook lm a prompt all right guys so step three is i'm going to write a prompt now it took me a little while to write this prompt i'm just going to paste it in what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this prompt and i'm going to put it in the description below so if you just look underneath this video in the description you could copy this prompt i'll put this prompt in the description you just copy it and just switch out Miller Electric USA number one for your website and the area right here. See where it says the area? Um, just, just swap it out for your area. So this is step three, real easy. You need to write a prompt. I'm going to put it in the uh, YouTube description below this video. Just copy and paste this prompt. All right, guys, so we want to rank this Miller's Electric. And we gave Notebook LM a prompt to say, hey, uh, based on the information that we give you, we'd like you to uh, compare, analyze the information and let us know how to rank uh, uh, Miller's Electric. Well, we can't do that unless we give Notebook LM a bunch of information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a couple of my videos and, and uh, some other popular sites on local SEO and let's see what it comes up with. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click add source. I'm going to go down to YouTube. I already have one of my videos ready to be analyzed. Let's give it another one. Let's give it this one. I like this one. I think that's a, this was a good video. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. I click add source. I'll scroll down to YouTube and I will paste YouTube video in. All right. Then I oops, let me copy this website. I mean this uh, video. And what this is doing is I'm I'm basically feeding uh, notebook LM's brain, right? So I'm giving it a couple of videos. It's actually going to watch these videos and it's going to store all the information 
in these videos. Then I'm going to give it some websites, some PDFs. I'm going to give it some Google documents. It's going to be beautiful by the time it's finished. So a channel I just got turned on to probably over the past couple of months has been Sterling Sky with uh, Joy Hawkins. She puts out a, a lot of really good actionable videos. So I'm going to take this one, right? Uh, I'll take this I'll take this video. I know that was one that I that I watched and I and I enjoyed. So I'll take that video. So let's go and take we'll take uh, two or three Sterling Sky videos. So to drive Notebook LM crazy, I am going to add my friend Chris Palmer's video in this. Uh, great guy, man. If you haven't seen Chris, go over to. Uh, Chris Palmer on SEO, uh, Chris Palmer SEO on YouTube, and uh, he has a lot of really good lessons. I love this guy. So, you know, I want to add one of his videos because he does a lot of good videos, and I enjoy his videos, particularly on schema markup. That's the code behind your website that lets Google know what your website's all about. He does some really good videos on how to do schema markup. So. I picked one of his videos. I want that in there as well. All right, guys. So the next step is I really want to I want to fill the sources up with some great information. I picked out a couple of videos. Um, I also went over to this website, Search Engine Land. It's my go-to to find out local uh, SEO information at SearchEngineLand.com. I also went over to Google and went to the developer's guide because let's face it i don't want to i don't want information i don't want to break any of google's rules right so i want to understand what google's rules are and i want i want to make sure that uh whatever information is being said in the videos and in the documents that i upload to notebook lm that i'm not doing any really hard black hat stuff stuff that's illegal to google um, check out this video. It's by uh, SEO Fight Club, uh, Ted Kubitis. This is a fabulous video on local SEO. So I took this video and I also uploaded it to Notebook LM. Okay, so I have all my documents here. Now I can upload as many as um, as many as three hundred documents, but I don't want to do that. Right? I don't want to upload 300 documents because it's really too much. I think it's going to water the videos down, uh, the, the information down. So I'm going to pick anywhere from 8 to 10 between videos and websites and maybe PDFs or you know stuff like that. Now, one of the things that I left out is that once this is done, once I, once, once I generate a report, I can also create a podcast out of all the information just based on my website. So you're driving to work and you want to listen to something, you take this link, you generate a link on um, Notebook LM, and you could listen to a podcast on how to, um, how to rank your website, your specific website in the uh, Google Maps. So what you could also create are study guides, FAQs, a briefing doc, because you could just imagine how much information is going to be pulled out of this uh, notebook LM. So you could create a, a, a brief that would just give you, you know, the, the cliff notes of what you need to do. Okay, so I have my prompt all set and let me click start and it's going to take a few minutes and we'll come back in two or three minutes when it finishes analyzing everything we need. Guys, I'm literally blown away by the amount of information that Notebook LM found. What it did was it compared all the videos that I gave it, the notes from the from Google Developer's Guide, as well as Search Engine Land, and it compared what the prompt that we needed for, for Notebook LM to examine uh, all the content we gave it alongside of the website. And it came up with these notes 
I don't know how it did it, but you know, it tells you everything that you need to do to rank. Now, whether you could do that yourself is is another is another uh, is another story. But if you mouse over, this is the text that it's coming from the videos, right? So if you just you know if you don't understand something, you just mouse over it. Uh, it also gives you, for example, over here it says nap consistency. So it found that in some parts of the website there's one phone number, on some parts of the website there's another phone number. So there's a conflict there. Uh, it tells you that you should use the keywords that aren't being used right now. I could go through the whole thing, but I just want you to get the idea because yours is your report is going to be different than um, than than this this fellow's report, right? But it, it gives you everything that you need and then sources. And then not only that, like I said, it gives you a, a, a briefing doc and it also gives you a podcast. And we're going to jump in and listen to a few minutes of the podcast next. Okay, guys, listen to this podcast. You're going to go crazy. I'm going to play it for a couple of minutes. Welcome in, everybody. Ready for a deep dive into the world of Google Business Profiles. Those all-important digital storefronts that can make or break a local business. We've got a lot to unpack today. A super in-depth guide from Search Engine Land, a live website example, Miller Electric, and insights from SEO gurus we found on YouTube. Even some stuff about schema markup. Oh, yeah, we're going there. But first things first, let's set the stage. What are we looking at today and what's the mission? Think of this as your one-stop shop for understanding Google Business Profiles, or GBPs. GBPs, kind of love those acronyms. From setting one up to optimizing it so you're ranking high in local search results. And get this, even if you don't have a traditional website, you can still dominate Google Maps. It's true. A strong GDP can be a game changer for local businesses. But not every business qualifies for a GBP, right? Right. There are some eligibility criteria. Like what? Well, the big one is face-to-face -face customer interaction. So if your business is online only... A GBP isn't the right fit. Makes sense. But if you have a physical location where customers can visit, you're good to go. Even if it's a home-based business. Yep. Even then. Mm. You'll need a dedicated phone number too, of course. And got to play by Google's rules. Always. Their guidelines change all the time, so it's crucial to stay updated. Sounds like Google has a lot of power here. Hey guys, as you could tell, I had a great time making this video. This was something new and really exciting for me. I really enjoyed Notebook LM. I certainly hope this video helped you. Uh, if you made it all the way to the end, please like and subscribe. And please be good to your family. Kiss your wife, kiss your kids, and we'll see you tomorrow.